Hi friends, welcome again to Queen's Kitchen. How are you? I hope you all are well. Today's recipe which I'm going to share with you is very special and because it's from my birth city, it's called Amritsari Kulche and Chole. Uh, chole is, is you, as you know, is a chickpea curry and kulche is like a stuffed naan, but it's not naan, it's a specially, uh, there is a special technique to make them. So let's quickly go to the recipe and see how do we make it. I'm using oven instead of tandoor which is traditionally used to make them. So I don't have tandoor but I think the taste remains the same which is the main thing. So let's quickly go to the recipe and see how you make amitsari kulche and chole. To make Amritsari kulcha we need plain flour and uh, I'm adding water as needed and we will knead it into a very very soft dough to make nice kulchas and I'm adding some salt to it and it'll start on very slow speed you can also use your hands to knead a dough as well also I'm adding some baking powder and I'm adding water as needed and I'm also going up on my speed the mixer and the quantity of water here is needed a little bit more than the normal dough because dough we need is has to be a little bit sticky and has to be very very soft and elastic I'll show you later what I mean just adding a little bit of vegetable oil at the end of it and our kneading process is almost done and here we go our our dough is ready and very elastic as you can see very soft that's how the texture has to be for making nice kulchas now we will just cover this dough for at least 30 minutes or more if you can and let it set and in the meantime we will start making our stuffing as well as chickpea curry for the for the kulchas for that first of all i'm roasting some of the coriander seeds and cumin seeds after they get roasted we will just transfer them into mortar and pestle as you can see and i will add some carrot seeds and some black pepper pots followed by some dry fenugreek leaves and we will coarsely crush these you don't have to make a fine powder here just coarsely should be fine now next step is we just have some boiled potatoes and i'm adding chopped onion into it followed by some ginger some green chilies and homemade masala which we just made and rest we will save it for later followed by some pomegranate powder or anar dana and salt to taste we'll just mash these potatoes you can use this potato filling in parathas fill, uh, when you make uh, uh, in the, go back to my videos where i showed how to make rotis and parathas and you can um, use this filling uh, in those parathas as well 
now i'm using the, my hands to see if there is any big lumps so that i can crush those with my hands as well so almost our filling is ready to go you can also use some uh, cilantro or coriander leaves into it as well which gives very nice flavor now next step is our vegetable uh, chickpea curry so for that i have making vegetable oil in a pan and i'm using the same masala which we made into it and we'll just wait until it will be roasted followed by some kashmiri red chili powder followed by some turmeric powder and we'll just cook until uh, turmeric and all the other spices cooked now I'm adding two cans of chickpeas which are pre-boiled but you can also use the raw chickpeas but you have to soak them overnight and then boil them and then you can use those as well but I had cans with me so I'm just using those I'm just crushing a little bit of chickpeas to uh, get our thicker consistency of our curry so there is um, no need of adding any tem other temperings to it so that much what I have added is enough if you're eating chickpea curry with kulchas because kulchas itself have a stuffing in it which is spicy enough just to make it a little bit more flavorful and thicken I'm adding uh, one big tablespoon of uh, potato mixture which we just made just uh, with this uh, the spices will also go into it and it enhance the flavor as well as it thickens the gravy of the chickpea curries now leave it for boiling let it boil and wait until the water evaporates and it gets thickened after 10 to 15 minutes you can see uh, the oil is almost on top the layering of oil is on top of the gravy that indicates that our gravy is almost ready and in the last i'm going to add one secret ingredient which really enhances and gives it an authentic flavor and that is a chopped spring onions in uh, chickpeas which are eaten with kulchas do have this secret ingredient to give that authentic flavor so make sure you add this instead of coriander leaves when you make chickpea curry for kulchas and our chickpea curry is ready for the kulchas now our next step will be making kulchas itself so kulchas is a basically stuffed non bread you can say in easier ways but it is definitely called kulcha traditionally so for that I am taking my dough which we um, which is all ready to go and all set to go and it's you can see it's very elastic that's how we need that's why it has to be very soft in texture when you initially make a dough don't uh, make it very uh, very hard otherwise it won't work when you make kulchas that elasticity is very important to make kulchas I'm just flattening it with my you can use the hands but uh, I'm using rolling pin and on top of it I'm using some clarified butter or ghee so layering is really important it is like puffed pastry but we don't have to make that many layerings in it so a couple of them is enough and now we will just dig it with our tips of finger and now we'll just add some plain flour pow in it and we now will make start folding it and then add a couple of spoons of ghee again you have to be generous in adding ghee if you want but it's up to you that how much 
you want to add but more you add more crispy they get now we will keep on we have folded it into a nice roll and we will keep on rolling it into a longer roll like as you can see keep on rolling the material uh, we made is approximately good for six kulchas and one kulcha is very heavy to eat and it should be enough for one person and but you can uh, just go lesser or increase the quantity as per your need now I'm just um, getting my portions out of the roll to make a kulcha I'm rolling one of the portions into a nice roll and I'm flattening it with my hands with some plain flour and I'm using my rolling pin I'll show you both the methods one with rolling pin and one with the hands now it's time for stuffing I'm adding my stuffing into it and now we will just fold it from all the sides to make the stuffing inside that and we will just roll it into a big roti so it it is bit thick in size not don't go too thin and now after it rolls like that just um, sprinkle some water on top of it and also add some ghee and make some dig it with your fingertips like this and add the powder or the masala we made initially just to give it more flavor and also I'm adding a little bit of more of fenugreek leaves dry fenugreek leaves and now I show you the method of making it with hands as well without using rolling pin so for that I'm taking one portion adding some filling potato filling into it and then using by using my hands um, just keep on rolling it it will give it a shape you can make it a little bit oval or in circle and should easily uh, flatten with your hands and that is that is why we need our dough very soft and I'm using a little bit of water as well just to flatten it on from the top and on and underneath there is a plenty of plain flour which which will prevent it from sticking to the surface now we'll just as you can see the potatoes have started showing up so that's how much we have to flatten it not too thin so on top of it as before I'm adding some clarified butter or ghee on top of it again followed by our homemade masala which we made initially followed by some fenugreek leaves and just press the leaves and last I'm adding some kalonji or onion seeds it gives a nice flavor to the naan breads or the kulchas so I'm adding uh, you can use it and I'm just my oven is almost ready to go I am preheated on 200 degrees and I will roast it and grill it uh, at the same time from the top and after 10 to 15 minutes here we go our kulcha is ready and it's very crispy I'll show you how how crispy it is by breaking it up but I'm adding some little bit of uh, clarified butter or you can also use normal butter on top of it as well now listen to that crackly sound here we go see that's how crispy it is so it is meant to be that crispy and it tastes absolutely divine serve it with uh, chickpea curry we made and some uh, mint chutney on the side with onion salad 
all right enjoy this recipe i'm very sure that you're gonna love this recipe and if you have any questions in regards to it please make sure you leave a message and i'll reply back to you thank you and see you next time with some another interesting recipe bye